What's up everyone, Fritz here again with another episode of Sneakerhead Ambition and today's going to be a quick one. Uh, I'm just going to be touching on what will probably be one of the more anticipated uh, releases of the year and that is whatever Yeezy Supply or Adidas is going to do with the remaining stock that they have on hand. As I'm sure most of you are aware, Adidas right now has about $1.3 billion worth of inventory that is left on hand uh, in Yeezys. Now, I'm going to cover two things today in this video. The first one is going to be where I anticipate them dropping this stock when they do release it. And the second part is going to be the resources that you will need to capitalize on those drops when they eventually do happen. And before I get into either of those, right, I just want to make this comment. I'm not commenting on what I think about the situation, what was said, the breakup between the two. This is strictly related to business and botting, so just getting that out of the way. All right, so the first part of this, right, where are they going to be releasing the stock? Uh, I have a couple reasons for believing what I do believe, and I think that it's going to be on the confirmed app, most likely, at least the vast majority of the stock. Now, I think that for mainly two reasons, right? The first one is that before Yeezys, before Adidas stopped the flow of Yeezys and, you know, they had their partnership going, um, if you remember last year in September, August, September, uh, whenever Yeezy Day was, I've got a live cop up if you want to check that out. Um, that was a disaster because Adidas had moved most of the pairs, right? I would say 80% of the shoes they dropped on that day and definitely all of the, the pairs that we really wanted to hit. They moved that to confirmed, right? Now, that was that was rough enough, right? But that was a trend prior to this partnership being cut anyways, right? So even if the flow of them hadn't stopped. I, it was my opinion, and honestly, that's corroborated by the majority of people in this space, right? They were moving away from the site Yeezy Supply. So even if the partnership hadn't been broken up, they were already starting to move most of the pairs to confirmed. So that's definitely a big factor in why I think it's gonna be unconfirmed. The second big part is that, obviously, they are trying to get away from him and their relationship together and not be associated with him, right? They've, they just abruptly cut the whole thing off. Again, this is just facts. That, that's what happened. Um, from there, right, I, I highly doubt that they are going to be, you know, put, releasing the shoes on a site with his name, right? They're trying to get away from that relationship. So I don't think that they're going to do that. Uh, and also, from what I've read, they've released the team that was running that website. So they don't have a team that, you know, is keeping that website up. I, I just don't think that that's going to happen, right? So... Like I said, I believe that they, they're they going to be unconfirmed. It is possible that they release some on adidas.com. But I, like I said, I would lean towards preparing for it to be a confirmed drop with the possibility of some being dropped on adidas.com. But again, this is uncharted territory, so to speak, right? Because we never, like we've seen them drop pairs on adidas.com before, but it's been a long time since they put any meaningful stock on that site. It was really easy supply and confirmed. So I would lean towards confirmed and I'll get into the resources and bots and all that stuff that you would need to capitalize on that now. So as far as hitting on confirmed or trying to do this at any meaningful scale, uh, the, obviously the biggest part is you're going to need accounts, right? Um, you know, if you had 10, 20 accounts, you could, I guess, have devices up, um, you could have friends do it for you. But on this channel, right, we're talking about botting. So you will need accounts, right? It's going to be just like flex, raffle, right? Sneakers, when they do draws, same thing. You're going to need accounts. Now, obviously you can make them if you've got phone numbers, right? Or you can purchase them. Uh, the provider that I have below in the information section uh, that I get all my flex accounts from that works great. Uh, I'm also using them for confirmed accounts. So if you do want to purchase accounts in anticipation for setting up for these drops, like I said, I've always got you covered, right? They're a sponsor of mine, and I know that the Flex accounts they sell are awesome, and the confirmed accounts are great as well. So definitely check them out. The Discord link is down there, and you can purchase whatever you want on there. Uh, so like I said, I would definitely check them out. Um, but the, the accounts are going to be the big thing. Now, there are bots that you know have raffle modules. I would imagine that most that several bots are going to try to add this once we get more information and more. we have more kind of solid facts on when these drops will happen, where they're going to be, right? We have seen in the EU, um, they've loaded up confirmed. So like I said, that's another data point that just kind of, you know, kind of points me in that direction as well. But what I will say is that Grinch Automation, the bot that I use for Flex, and, you know, I have a tutorial up on them. I think that's the best raffle bot out by far. And I've used 
four or five at this point that are strictly raffle bots. Um, what was the what was the big one back in the day? Um, Hyper raffle bot. Yeah, that was like four or five years ago. Uh, I've used that. I'd use Osiris. Grinch is the best one I've ever used. So uh, I would highly recommend you trying to get that bot, get on their wait list, whatever you need to do. I would really recommend looking into that. Um, hopefully at some point I can give some invites away for you know the first couple people that do some something on my channel or comment. But um, I would highly recommend trying to get that. But like I said, I do think that some other bots will probably make adjustments or add a module for it. But right now the bot that I'm going to use is going to be Grinch. So look into that, right? You're going to need the accounts. Um, if you're dead set on running for this, I think that, like I said, as we get closer to the drop and have more information, there will be more bots that have a module for it because this is going to be a pretty big deal. Um, so, you know, both of those are definitely things you're going to need. You're going to need proxies, right? But that's, you just need kind of residential, normal residential proxies. It's not going to be that big of a, big of a lift in that regard. So accounts, bot, and then you should be good to go. But again, I'll kind of keep you updated as I hear more information about that. Um, you can see me on my other, you know, Instagram, Twitter, I'll keep commenting on it and updating. But just for now, this is what you should be doing if you are planning to try to capitalize on those releases when they eventually do happen. One thing that is interesting, right, if you are going to think about the past and be like, hey, I'm going to run bots that worked on Yeezy Supply in the past. A lot of those bots don't really exist anymore. Um, Trickle doesn't exist, or if it does, I'm happy that nobody uses it. That's the only bot that I've ever had an issue with with the dev, so I'm happy they went down. Should have let me stay in that group. Anyways, uh, what bot? I loved what bot, but you know th those bots aren't going to work, right? It's not going to be on Yeezy Supply. I would not depend on that. Yeah, I could be wrong, right? But I I would not depend on using one of those bots. They both are pretty much worthless at this point. I would imagine that if bots were going to add modules, please do not take this and go asking the devs and doing all that. I, I would imagine that if bots to add these modules, the top AIO bots would probably add them like Valor, Wrath, Mac, right? I, it, it's possible. I do not know for sure. So please don't take that and go into the group and be like, Fritz said that I, I didn't say anything. I said, I would imagine that if a lot of bots do try to make the module, I would imagine the top bots would. So again, just some things to think about. And just like I said, trickle and what bot, you can rule them out, right? A lot of the bots that were just mostly YS, they're gone. So all in all, it definitely will be interesting to see how this plays out and see, you know, where they release the stock, how quickly it is. If they do, you know, maybe if they do one a week, you know, I mean, a weekend and then a couple weekends later, if they do like a Yeezy kind of flood or Yeezy day, right? They're obviously not going to call it Yeezy day. They're not going to market for them. But it will be interesting to see how they do this because they do have a good amount of SKUs left, right? Like if you look at the pictures of the pairs and the models that were going to come out this year, they've got a good amount of stuff on hand, right? There's a good amount of slides. There's some boots. There's some 350s. 500s, right? There, there's a good amount. So it will be interesting. Uh, like I said, I'll keep updating you all, but there should be a lot of stock releasing. So I am definitely highly anticipating this. Like I said, I'm making sure that I have confirmed accounts for that day and I'm ready to roll. Um, and then I, you know, I'm fortunate enough that I have pretty access to pretty much all the bots. So I know I'll be okay on that front, but the, I would, I would put your effort into getting accounts. If you are long story short, right? If you are planning on really trying to capitalize on this, get some accounts, get them, get them ready, right? Get your addresses, right? Make sure you've got your cards, all the things, right? Make sure you got all those things down and you should be able to have some success. As always a massive shout out and thank you to my sponsors. Uh, like I mentioned, every video, right? They really, the resources you see down below that are my sponsors are, it's really what I use. So again, check out the Flex account provider down there. That's where I get my confirmed accounts. I would highly recommend them. Um, I don't know that many places where you can get them, but that is one of them. Like I said, I'll have the Discord link there. And then again, just the proxies, servers, like I said, all the things, right? I've got very reputable companies down there that I really do put my name on. Um, there's only been like one company in the two or three years that I've had sponsors that I've ended up being like, yeah, I'm not that, I'm not down with how the team operates. But everybody down there at this point, I, like I said, stand behind, definitely check them out. And always, if you have any questions on what you need in your situation, you know, let me know and I can definitely point you in the right direction. Anyways, that's all for this quick update. Uh, per usual, you know, I should have some more content up in the next couple of days. Like I mentioned on the last video, I'm going to have some live cops coming up um, from the past two months or so where I kind of wasn't 
making as much content. So I will have some live cops up that are old, but like I said, are still very relevant for dissecting the mistakes I made and the things that I did well. So definitely check back for those. And per usual, you know, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I uh, have the handles and the information down there below as well. And, uh, and I do post daily on Instagram and Twitter. So if you're looking for content on a daily basis, I do try to post helpful stuff on those, uh, on those platforms. But other than that, check back in a couple days. And until next time, see ya.